All right, guys, what's up? Wanted to come at you with another week of kind of like an ESPN MIC highlights reel. I'm going to start doing this every week. Like I said last week, this is this week two. And what we're doing is we are going to recap the week. So uh, before I start, I just want anybody looking into MIC or anybody who has any questions. Guys, I'm going to have my number up on the screen just so you have this during the whole kind of webinar or presentation that there are ways to contact us and get all the information that you need as come, you know, per MIC, as, you know, maybe coming in the community, coming in the club. But, dude, I want to I want to get into this, man, because this was a fun week. There was a lot of examples. Members absolutely crushed it. But, guys, check this out. So, Monday, unfortunately, we don't have anything there. Fortunately, but unfortunately, it was Labor Day, so we got a really wonderful three-day weekend. And any time off the market is either time to spend with your family or study. But, unfortunately, is nobody made money on Monday. And uh, you must uh, you had to be in the cryptoverse to make any money on Monday. So, and, and I don't think any guys are making any money in there. So, at least right now. Guys, Monday is a no-go, but Tuesday, let's dive immediately into Tuesday and the two trades that I kind of want to highlight that Alex took because we always use Alex as an example each week because uh, he does the watch list every single day in MIC chat, guys, Monday through Friday. He shows some examples, gives you live commentary, and then the members, what the members are doing in MIC, they are piggybacking all of that momentum into a successful career of their own. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the 6th. If you guys look right here on TD Ameritrade, you're going to be able to see the day, September 6th. I'm actually going to highlight what Alex said. Looking for a morning pop towards $4, 420 450 to scale in short with a stop at 470 So that's really clear cut, right, guys? I'm going to actually bring up Alex's chart that he showed. He did exactly that, as you can see. About as simple as it gets when you start trading. I mean, we were using this as the outer lines. Got some nice covers in right off the pop on a broken stock with overhead. So people were stuck. So that's awesome. Number two right here is he actually has more to the trade. So as you can see, he gets that initial push uh, and then gets the outer lines and then covers a little bit later. So you guys can kind of see that. Now let's go to IC. And on this, again, guys, this is Tuesday, September 6th. Uh, let's see, six right here. So we're going to zoom in right there. Uh, and this stock is easy to borrow, meaning a lot of people have the locates and high volume pre-market. So this means it is dangerous for a short. I will look for I, I will look for a quick trade, maybe 13 to 14 lines to scale 10% at a time, no more than 30% size with a pre-market high a day stop. This is nothing more than a scalp into a push for me. This is not a trade to be in all day or add size on, just a scalp. So making that very clear, you know, this is how we detail the watch list, guys. Every single day we want to make 100% sure that you know what the game plan is, you know what the lines are, we are giving you an edge on all of these tickers. And it, and we've already backtested it for years, every single week of the watch list, that every single time the plan works when it hits the line, It's guys, it's, it's almost every single time. It's like 90 to 95% that when the lines are hit, the plan works. This is as per MIC process. So he goes, if, if, if I even take it, let it do its thing. And then this is what Alex did. Caught the VWAP pop. Like that's, guys, this is as simple as it gets right there in the pop in the outer lines, obviously using the 13. Did that, make some money, uh, you know, right come the open. And that's what he wanted. So by the time he's making the watch list, it's super early in the morning. And then the edge presents itself based on the plan. So that's kind of what I wanted to highlight there. And then as the day went on, as you can see, this is a little bit of a progression into the trade again on this pop. And Alex gets exactly what he wants for a second scalp. So not only pre-market, but into the open morning push. Now, let's go to the member charts because, dude, members killed it this week, even though it was kind of a slower week. So I just wanted to shout a couple people out. First one being Mr. Simple, just crush it on higher. Um, Trent Long, you know, coming in with a, almost a, you know, what, $1,100 day. That's fantastic. This kid's like, dude, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to showcase th this guy a little bit throughout this webinar, guys, because this kid's like, I, I swear to God, man, I think he's like 20 to 22 years old, and he's, he's just crushing it. So, guys, um, Pie F Dog, or Peef, Peefy Dog, you know, some of these members get creative with the names. Uh, FWBI in play for me and nailed it. He also got IC directly from the watch list. Let's see, you know, FWB and IC again. Like, guys, when we lay out a plan, again, when the lines hit, 
the process works so you can trust the process and the lines. This is why we guide you daily. Uh, Bryant stayed away from the easy to borrow IC and traded FWBI, ran out of patience, but got some nice scalps. Shout out there. Wolf always on his grind lately. Uh, absolutely killed it. So, you know, this is, this is what's possible in MIC, guys. When you see these members, these are normal people that didn't know how to trade for anything, never heard about the markets, you know, maybe, or maybe even did trade for five or 10 years and then found success when they came into MIC. So all of this you can do with the guidance of MIC. These are just the members showcasing their results and killing it. Look how many different ones, you know, PO, crushed on FBWI. Uh, Mike Pro did a really good job. Uh, that, that was a fantastic play right there nice use of scale um you know the path makers again fwbi read the reason guys why everybody is nailing the same tickers is because this is why we have the watch list again go back and read this and we give you a clear-cut plan every single morning on how to do this soy sauce coming in with an 800 day you know uh masticoli coming in with a 1.2k day this is the power of process. And then every now and then something is so funny that I want to point it out. This week on Monday, you know, unfortunately, there was a huge, huge, huge kind of like wave of heat in California. Bell lives in California. And he was just buzzed. He was complaining all week. I live in Arizona. So I'm like, dude, welcome to every day, bro. So I, you get like 113 Monday. I get that every single day during summer. So it is what it is. Now, guys, let's go to, uh, what are we on? We're on Wednesday, September 7th. The one I want to highlight is Sidu. Let's. I, I wish I could go through everything, guys. I just really don't have time just because I want to keep these kind of short and sweet as a highlight reel. So I'm kind of, you know, picking the examples I think that you can really learn. Now, I want to point this out. This is actually not technically on the watch list. Do you see this? It doesn't mean that when something's not running that we don't capture it maybe intraday. So while this technically is not on the watch list and there's a bunch of others on the watch list, we grab something. So what we grab is we grab a nice play and this is exactly what Alex did. He followed through, you know, at resistance, come the open, followed down a broken stock. I know he was complaining on how he covered a little too early because he was like, look, I don't know how far this is going to go, you know, how, how much it's going to quote unquote collapse, but he got a nice move out of it and it is what it is. Now, going back to Monday, guys, I wanted to showcase this, this at the end, but let's showcase this now. Alex lost 1,000 on, sorry, not Monday, Tuesday. And then if we go to Wednesday, Alex actually had somewhat of a harder week than coming off his 151,000 last week. So already in the hole, there's no trading Monday. He lost 1,000 on Tuesday and Wednesday he lost uh, 4.5K. Here's what I want to showcase, guys. Here's what's important. Alex made $151,000 last week. He lost upwards of Monday. What did, what were his two losing days? A thousand, five thousand. So for a player like Alex to do risk management and to really master that, so you're telling me that he can make seven hundred thousand dollars in a day. He can make twenty thousand regularly. He can make six thousand, five thousand, you know, three hundred thousand. This is a big red day for him. This is very, very crucial in your line of sight for process and longevity in this career of, you know, doing this for 10 and 20 years, guys, having a $5,000 loss on a day where maybe you lose on a couple scalps, etc. This is very controllable value even put manageable loss. So this is what he said, you know, keeping losses under control. This is how important that is. So see you, you know, and a couple others. Okay. You get a losing day. Big deal. If it's 5,000 versus, you know, him making on a daily average, like say like 13 grand, which he makes the next day, which we'll talk about, that's very key. So now let's now let's showcase some of the members what they were doing, you know. Uh, and I I always butcher some of these names, guys, because you guys make these a little hard. But Ant Maz just absolutely crushing on I am I M R A uh, Q and R X for reasonably Izzy. Just see that's a long guys. So we don't just shorten M I C. Everybody's like, hey Tosh, if I join M I C, am I only gonna learn shorting? No. We do swing, you know, guys, we do swing trading. We do options, calls and puts. We do, you know, big caps, long and short, small caps, long and short. This is an example where he had an edge Q on RX. And if you read Alex's watch list every single day, what's so cool is while Alex is a short seller that kind of gravitate, gravitates towards that and, and kind of highlights shorting, guys, it doesn't matter because you can reverse engineer and we talk in a way that is also going to be beneficial for long traders. Um, the Jester coming in on IMRA, as you can see, both sides making money on the trade. QNRX, Wolf, this is what I'm talking about, man. This guy makes money on QNRX. On the long side, this guy makes it on the, sh on the short side. Like, this is the power of community. 
Trent coming in with about another $500 day. Uh, PO, again, just crushing the shorts. Uh, who else? SPRO, Pike Much. <laughs> yeah, here's the thing, guys. You're going to leave some dead wood on the table, which is a poker term for money you could have made. But here's the thing. MIC process about consistency and paying yourself when you're in the money. And I am always so proud of our members when we see something like this because it's not about top ticking and then bottom ticking a cover. It's about making money consistently every single day. So if you're crying over profits, that's actually a really good problem to have. And then psych med trading came in uh, just crushing, man. So I love to see that the members see exactly what's on the watch list, make money, or simultaneously, if you go into the chat and something you know, sprung up randomly that wasn't necessarily in the watch list or kind of, you know, got pump and dumped on, you know, intraday. And then now we're all over it because there's an edge for volatility. While we don't do any pumping and dumping, others do. And we take advantage of the backside of the move when something's already pumped. So someone creates, you know, very, very inorganic volume. Well, it still means that something is up with volatility. So then a lot of us short sellers are taking advantage of the second part of the play, which is AKA backside. So you have your front side on the way up and then you have your backside on the way down. So, you know, um, now we're on Thursday, guys, and, and this is this is what I love so much. You know, Alex lost 1000 4000 Then he came in with, all, you know, a $13,000 day, guys. And I'm not even including, you know, rebates or anything like that, so I know his week is going to be a lot more. But let's check this out, right? So now we're on Thursday, um, and the one I want to highlight actually specifically, really specifically, is Pixie. So if this is the 8th, we're just going to go to the 8th, which is right here. Again, just look at that date in the top left corner so you can kind of see, especially when you're going back in history. Like, I really need to see where this is, right? So let's take a very quick look at his Pixie trade. And this is a great one, guys, and it's very detailed. Alex is, uh, again, this is true mentorship. Like, we are educating you guys on exactly what we're doing. So ignored it all pre-market to have a clear head at the open. Started in with 30% size, guys, right? Because it's still over VWAP. So 30% size when 25 failed with the plan to add after a death candle. So he's talking about, you know, 25 whole and half dollar. That's when he got in. And then 30% size. And then Alex had the confidence to really, you know, wait for this rejection, this death candle right here, this tank candle, which we talk about a lot. He added, you know, pretty much all the way down, you know, through here and then covered up near, what was that? Um, like uh, 19.5, it looks like, right? So just very clean, just very clear, um, you know, waited for the, got in a little, um, in the beginning with 30% size, waited for the weakness and the rejection, got in, added size on the fail. And guys, this is the point of like, if you capture one really good move, nail and bail, you know, get the F out, you can have a $13,000 day. And that's the point. So, you know, Alex is coming off very small losses when he loses and then brings the hammer when there's opportunity and does exactly what he's so good at is hitting hard when the time is right and making the most amount of money with the least amount of stress. That's very key, guys. That's kind of the teachings at MIC. We're not here to swing 400,000 in the red, then 400,000 in the green, and then basically be break even, and then you're freaking having panic attacks because you're so stressed out about size and this and that. Everything goes back to about consistency and process. When we bat for singles, a home run will come. And how easily could these days have been, you know, Alex plus 2,000 plus 5,000, right? So this was kind of that bat for singles and the home run comes. And a home run for everybody is definitely different, you know, as per what journey or chapter you're on. But it, it's all the same thing within process, guys. So reasonably is he killed it on the IMRA long, again, showcasing longs as well. Uh, Wolf is just, dude, this guy is, this guy is on his grind, man. IMRA, awesome. Uh, Travers is one of our long traders capturing the dips, selling the rips. I absolutely love that. Uh, Wolf again, done. Thanks, MIC. IMRA. Look at these scalps using the channel. Love it. Uh, Trent Long <laughs> showcasing some of the same guys every single week or the same day because they're not scared to show their success. They're not scared to show you what's going on. And again, guys, participate. Like that's the coolest part of the, about the community is every day someone new starts going through their journey of success and now showcasing it. So I love that. Uh, split letter. The reason why I wanted to showcase this one is he's like, what luck? I just got off the plane and figured I'd try a little uh, nuts. No pun intended. Follow process scaling into four. Okay. Yeah. There's some dead wood on this, but again, if you're crying about missed profits after you've made money, you're doing pretty good. Uh, the path makers, pixie clear cut is as clear as it gets. Leon, you know, crush on IMRA. Uh, let's see. D eight. 
uh, Diego, Diego Golden Pants, Die Golden Pants, Diego Golden Pants, however you want to, <laughs> Diego Old Pants, I'm trying to figure out that name, but uh, crush it on IMRA, guys, this is this is the power of the community, uh, Danny posting, you know, making a six, seven hundred dollar day, it is not about, guys, the one dude in the club that makes thirty thousand dollars a day, it's about a hundred members a day, or two hundred, or three hundred, four hundred, supplementing their income, and now paying their bills through trading. So it's not about one lucky, you know, a-hole who's like beating his chest and he's like, I totally figured this out. It's about everyone getting it. And MIC is the most repeatable strategies there are, guys. This is why all of our guys are doing so good. Um, and gals. So check this out. On Friday, um, Alex, unfortunately, well, fortunately, it was his birthday and he was super focused on his personal life. And when his friends had party with him, he had like a, he had like this awesome stuff at night. Like I think his friends set up like this, uh, this kind of secret dinner and stuff. So super cool. He was a little distracted. I know he was because he took one small scalp and I think he lost on it. So Alex got in DMS and, and uh, lost on it. So I think he was probably more focused on his birthday. I don't even know how much he lost. I know it was really small, but you know, again, guys if it's not on the watch list we're going to talk about it you know we're going to talk about it. so september 9th alex's birthday had a small loss on D dms and honestly this is one where a lot of people lost because look at this this is the one trade where you take 10 trades with mic process and one may lose maybe you wanted to hit that you know maybe you want to hit that vwap push maybe you want to hit an outer line and it just went a little further than expected now the outermost line which we do teach did work but again, guys, like you, if you're, when you're in trading, you're going to lose every now and then, and that's okay. As long as you keep it tight, as long as you keep the risk good, as long as you get the F out when you're wrong, that's really all that matters. So I know Alex took a little paper cut there. It was only about a thousand bucks. So we'll tally that in at the end. But um, guys, look at, look at what the members was doing. You know, again, Ant Maz, just crush it really really good job in fact joe and i love this setup you know the million dollar setup ifbd we talk about um you know dms long so alex took a loss in there but ryan conley was taking a win dude awesome job man um i and m great job split letter uh let's see trend supporter dms the patience after he waited for these parabolic moves got the top and had some really nice patience through the tank under vwap i think that was come reversal hour actually um, you know, BL668 doing great job. DMS again, short DMS, man. If you could wait for those outer lines, this was a really good job. I think Alex just got a little more preoccupied on the inner lines because he was stoked for his birthday. <laughs> if you ask me, you got to ask him yourself, but, and then Weaver absolutely crushed like, I think five or six for six trades that week. So again, guys, share your success, share it all. It's so cool seeing you guys kicking butt and this, this, this is kind of the highlights for a week. It was actually kind of a funny week. Um, and Alex does so much better than this. But what I wanted to really showcase is even the trades that he didn't take or the trades that he did where he lost, kept it very controlled, kept it very small. And this is what the members do when they lose. This is what I do when I lose. This is what Alex does, Bow does when he loses. When you lose, guys, lose small. When you win, you win anywhere from you know small, medium, big. But you can only lose small. And that's what we teach with risk management now if i go to the chat guys really quick i want to just go to the chat real quick and just show you a couple things the watch list channel is right here so you can scroll in every single day see the watch list that we're talking about take it to the small cap room which is main trading chat see commentary see fills see charts and everything in between large cap room is subsequent channel exactly what it sounds so here's for large caps and options and then we also have a swing trading room you know you know dms at the bottom and basically everything in between here and like again after hours and networking and posting funny memes and being a community so this is what <laughs> this guy talking about is crazy x or something so this is fun times man like show what's going on in your lives and then absolute last thing i want to talk about guys is if i go to the my investing club website which we're going to do right now uh myinvestingclub.com i know i kept this at the bottom of the page for you right here but listen to this if you want to get your questions answered if you want to join the community um you know text 213-458-5997 to get your immediate questions answered a little bit of a coaching session from me if you need and then obviously you can email as well tosh at myinvestingclub.com and guys you can also book a call so this will go to my google calendar and we can officially book a call to really make sure that uh again you just see if mic is a good fit for you
Oh, and guys, we got to do one last thing, actually. You know we got to add up the weekly p &L. I mean, you can pretty much eyeball this one this week, but let's actually bring this up. So let's just subtract, because uh, what were the three days? Monday, he didn't trade, and I know Alex only lost about like $1,000 on Friday, so on his birthday. So let's actually just go through. All right, so let's type this in. Uh, what is this? 13,000, we'll just ballpark this. 13,300 minus, we'll do 4,600. Minus 4,600, and then what? Minus... A thousand dollars on this day and we'll say a thousand dollars so we'll just put around two thousand guys Alex has still made about sixty seven hundred dollars for the week so last week he's coming off one hundred and fifty one thousand this week he's pretty much around probably the six to seven I don't know the exact tally of Friday but I know it was small so let's say a six to seven thousand dollar week maybe six to eight guys this is small for Alex but who doesn't want to learn how to make it if this is Alex's worst week guys you can make this your best week I'm telling you so this is the stuff that we teach. This is how to supplement income. And this is how to get in there and mix it up and really understand how to trade process and make money. You, We are going to teach you, anybody listening to this, we are going to teach you how to trade so you can supplement and hopefully one day replace that job that maybe you just don't like. Guys, I'll catch you in the next week for the next highlight.